Hiya! Today I'm here with the wonderful Ebony Day. Hi! And we are filming a video in collaboration with Sloggy. Heck yeah we are! <laughs> We're talking about boobs! We're gonna talk about how we accepted ourselves and how puberty is difficult. Oh. But we're here now! <laughs> And we made it through. We made it through. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what's important. We're living proof that it you could get past it. <laughs> Were you an insecure teenager? Yeah. Especially body-wise. I didn't want anyone looking at me. I'd wear like baggy stuff so nobody could see oh, if really? I had boobs yet. Or if I did have boobs. Like I when I started getting boobs, I wanted to cover up. That's so, so funny, isn't yeah. it? How it just changes. It's so strange. Like I was super insecure but I also think that's because it's such like a topic of conversation when you're growing up yeah you're always thinking about it yeah and everyone's like you compare and like you want to see if your friends got them or like no I was so insecure about my boobs because I was really flat chested well I was I was developing but nothing was happening <laughs> do you know what I mean like I was like <laughs> you were like kind of hello <laughs> yeah so I started when I was like 12 probably yeah and it was just a really slow process. And it felt like everyone had boobs, but I didn't. Yeah, I know what you mean. And whilst all of that was happening, my hips were growing, my bum was growing, and it just felt like weird. It's hard not to be insecure though, because you're like, is this normal? Is yeah. this, like, is am I different to everybody else? So you're always just like comparing yourself, aren't you? What age was it when you started to feel like, oh, I'm not that fussed actually. Like my body's my body. Do you know what it was? I was working in retail and I was, I was 17, 18, and I was around mm. all these really cool girls who were my age or a bit older. And this company hired people that were just so comfortable in their own skin. They wanted yeah. that really confident, like, proud women yeah. to, like, sell the clothes. And being around those guys, and they wore whatever they wanted, no matter what shape they were. And they were just so cool. And I just was like, I want to be like these guys. I don't mm. want to be this insecure, yeah. prudish, like, scared of talking about sex or about yeah. like my body or like scared to show any flesh kind of person that's not who I am because you realize that everyone is like such different shapes as well yeah exactly and like that and I wasn't looking at any of those women and or girls I guess we were girls and women <laughs> yeah. I wasn't looking at anyone and being like oh I wish they would wear this or like oh yeah. I wasn't judging anyone because they were so cool <laughs> you always think somebody else is like prettier than you or like Say for example, I have bigger boobs, so then I would always look at someone with smaller boobs and be like, oh, I wish I had smaller boobs, like clothes look so much nicer on them. But then there's people with small boobs who would be like, oh, I wish I had bigger boobs. Mm. So it's like nobody's ever that happy with what they have. But then you get to this stage where you're just like, this is what I am, like I'm not yeah. going to change it. I remember hearing people being like, oh, you just learn to accept your body. Yeah. And I was like, will I ever learn to accept my body? <laughs> and I just did. Like, you just are like, it's kind of a fact of life. You're born yeah. in the skin you're born in. Yeah. I'll look in the mirror and I'll be like, I don't like that. Like, and like I might, be, one day it might be like, oh, I don't like my arms or this and that. But like then the next day it's gone it's like the type of mood that you're in but then I'm like is that just in my head like or like because your yeah. brain is so it can make you think whatever so it is crazy thinking like what is that like when you look in the mirror are you actually seeing you yeah ex I don't think you can ever look at yourself objectively no be like this is exactly what I look like something that really helped me get used to my body was being naked around myself yeah I hated being naked and then slowly I've kind of introduced it. I know what you mean. More. When I was at school, I would <laughs> get changed, but like, I would I would not be naked. Or oh, if yeah. I was naked, it would be for like the quickest time after a shower. You'd just like chuck on clothes. So being naked, like even to myself, was like super uncomfortable. As you start to see yourself naked more, then it just becomes more normal. And then you're like, yeah. oh, I don't mind that actually. Also, buying nice underwear. Mm, so important good. makes you feel beautiful <laughs> but it does it gives you like a confidence because yeah and it like transforms you because you're like wow these pants are nice yeah <laughs> you're like and then you're i like, didn't know i could look this sexy yeah and then you're like i feel good in these pants and then like for the whole day you're like yeah i feel good even though nobody <laughs> sees your pants but you know that they're fancy also one thing some i can't remember who told me but somebody told me something that literally changed everything that like made me insecure because i don't particularly like wearing a bikini because I don't like my stomach mm. but like I have no reason to but for just some reason I just don't like my stomach and I my friend told me that when I go on the beach 
do I look at anyone's like bums or boobs and compare them? And I was like, no. And they were like, do you look at their stomach? And I'm like, yeah. And she was like, you always look at the thing that you're insecure about because you want to compare. So true. But that person might have had a really great stomach, but they might have been really insecure about their bum. But yeah. I'm not even like, I'm just looking at their stomach and being like, they have the perfect body. So like, that really changed things in my head because I was like, just because I'm looking at that person's stomach, they're, they could still be insecure about something completely different. Yeah, they could be looking at your thighs and being like, I wish I had her thighs. Yeah, exactly. Like, I wish I had her boobs or her yeah. arms. That, and that changed everything because I was like, oh, you <laughs> always just focus on the thing that you feel bad about. Yeah. But that person could be thinking, oh, look at her legs. I wish I had her legs or whatever. So it's crazy. Nowadays, I think about it like your body is your temple. Mm. Like your body is the vessel through which you exist and your brain is in it. Like, yeah. your brain is in it, your digestive system's in it, your liver's in it. Like, you have to look after all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And that's the priority. For sure. Prioritise being comfortable in your own skin yeah. and developing your confidence and these worries will melt away. Yeah, they'll just disappear. And then you'll look back and be like, that was so funny. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I look back now and think about all the things I was insecure about. Yeah. I'm like, how? How was that even something that crossed my mind? I know. Yeah. I think you just have to, like, learn to be comfortable with what you have. Like, nobody has the perfect this or the perfect that, because who's to say what's perfect? So if boobs were, like, your insecurity, you're not insecure about them now, are you? No, not at all. And then, so, like, what did you do? Part of it, again, was, like, <laughs> learning to love myself. Or, like, learning <laughs> to, like, accept myself. Yeah. But through doing that, obviously boobs sit in bras a lot of the time <laughs> yeah. you kind of they you, go hand in hand boob yeah. and boob yeah <laughs> <laughs> boob and cup yes i definitely had to find ways of being really comfortable mm -hmm. and finding bras that i loved that fit me well that yeah. were that just gave me an inner confidence because i knew no one was really gonna see them yeah but it's that as we were saying earlier about nice underwear, like yeah. what's underneath your clothes is so important. Especially if you don't feel like it fits you right or like it's uncomfortable because then you don't feel comfortable in yourself. You're just like, I want this off. Yeah, for me definitely. Finding the right bras, finding the right underwear. Yeah. Getting on that. And, and quality, like I said in our video that we made on Ebb's channel, like mm. quality is so, so, so important. Yeah. And finding something where you can wear it all day and just feel really good in yourself. Yeah. Our friends at Sloggy have actually just released a new bra. It's called the Wow Comfort Bra. And guess what, folks? It's freaking comfortable. The one that we have is the t-shirt bra, right? Yeah, t-shirt bra. And I've been wearing it for the past, like, two, three days. And, like, you know that feeling when you come in and you just want to take off your bra because you're like, this is uncomfy? This is, like, the one, one or two bras I've tried that are, like, I don't mind wearing it. But this one is like so comfy that when you come in, it's not like get it off right now, which yeah. is what I quite like about it because there's no like underwire. Yeah, it's so like it doesn't feel like it's digging in. Yeah, and like you were saying before, now you only wore sports bras basically because yeah. they were the comfortable ones. Yeah, because I hate the I hate the like wiring and I hate having little straps. Yeah. Um, but these straps I was saying to you earlier. I like so soft. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to check out the Wow Comfort Bra, please do. There'll be a link in the description. And we also filmed a video on Ebb's channel. We did. We filmed a bunch of like awkward first bra stories. There's School a lot. School bra stories. Yeah, just boobs. pretty much everything. No awkward. bra stories. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of boob and bra. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. We're talking about boobs, boobs, boobs. Talking about boobs, boobs, boobs. Putting them in boob holders. Take it over. I'll beatbox. <laughs> girls love bras and that's really great. You don't have to be a girl to wear a bra though. You can be anything you want to be. And apart from like a rabbit. <laughs>